Hi, I'm going to talk about HMPCC and how does Gene Reaper works in uh, works normally in people. So here is the replication, and uh, you see that the new daughter strand is being made from template strand. So if there is a mistake in the, in the daughter strand, uh, imagine that. Uh, here is the here is the um, daughter strand and now is made from 5 prime to 3 prime and we have two genes which are uh, you know as active in HMPCC one is MLH1 and the other one is MLH2 and each of these genes has a product a protein product uh, the MLH1 gene has MUTL and the other one is MSH2 gene the, and the product is MUTS so these two act as detectives to detect the, mm, the mistaken part and the mistaken part on the DNA so here is the DNA you see if imagine this is the new strand uh, of DNA you see that MUTS now is starting to detect the missing part and here is the another one MUTL now they join together and they are detecting the uh, mistaken part on DNA and finally this complex succeeded to detect the mismatch part and after that they continue their job until they reach NIC and what is the NIC? NIC is the part of the DNA that's not attached to the rest of the DNA so here's the warning here's the mistaken part so this complex now uh, is done they did their job well now it's the turn off and the nuclease which is uh, which is an enzyme uh, has uh, exonuclease activity, and this means that the whole part of the DNA, you know, in this part, which includes the mistaken part, should be removed from daughter strand, and this being done by this uh, by the action of this enzyme, which is called exonuclease one. So you see that remove it uh, as well and finally DNA polymerase Delta should uh, fill in the missing part and after all this is DNA ligase that ligates the two parts to strand to uh, daughter DNA you see and this is all about HMPCC and how it works